Alrighty guys, welcome back to another one. I lost the intro to this video, so I'm having to do a voiceover with some pictures, as you can see. But, a viewer did send us some MP Molds full bore 730 diameter 12 gauge pellet slugs, which are pretty cool. Of course, this being a pellet slug, it has the classic Diabolo shape, which is nose heavy, skirt shape, you guys know. But, they tend to fly pretty accurately, pretty stable, pretty straight. But uh, we'll see here. We used the Panzer Arms M4. Josh had a cylinder board choke, and I had an IC choke. Which one did better? Well, stay tuned for that, I guess. Three of these had buffer in it, which was Josh's idea this time, to see if that helped anything or changed anything. And these were done with 32 of long shot, new primed Fiocchi, two and three quarter, the FS12 gas seal, and two maxi nitro cards, 12 gauge, of course. And that was it. Again, three of these did have buffer in the cavity of the slug. But other than that, well, you guys know, 42 yards. We do not have a chrono today. We did walk off and leave it at my house. That's fine. But these should be moving right around 1350. But without further ado, let's get into it. Now I'm ready when you are. Alrighty guys, let's make sure my mic crones on. It is not. Uh, uh, on his. But these are some full bore slugs. Dude, these yellow jackets are gonna kill me. No, they're not. Just wishful thinking. Are you? <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Spicy. D dang near same hole. And I believe that one passed through one of your holes. I believe that one was a flyer. Oh, was it? It's a little bit lower. Oh, okay. All right, guns locked back, clear. Good luck finding those holes. Because once again, we have a pile of clear holes over there. <laughs> I give up. I wouldn't even attempt it. But let's walk down there and see how that group is. I think it's pretty good. Alrighty, guys. They seem to be well, not seem. They are flying dead true for what they are. That's pretty good. It's a good sign. But it looks like we have a roughly three by. Oh, that's about five. Three by four and a half. That's not bad. No. I mean, cover them up with my hand. Yeah, um, I might switch out to the improved cylinder choke just to see if that changes changes anything. But, don't know. Let's go for it. Uh, where did Ollie go? Um, let me step up here. You're recording if you want to talk about that while I make sure that the range uh, is clear. Okay, guys. Uh, we're checking to see if the range is clear, but I have the choke swapped out for the IC. These do not have the buffer in the cavity, so we'll see what that changes. And after I lay down this group, we'll get this, sorry, O sight here sighted in for that group. And then we're going to try to hit that plate out there. It's 110 yards. Quite a few of you guys suggested to go to a bigger plate, maybe a 10, 12 inch, to make it easier to hit, obviously. And yeah, we'll probably do that down the line. But right now, funds are, you know, a little bit low, but uh, you're good. We'll get a better plate eventually. I want one of the silhouettes. The silhouettes. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I know what I want. What do you want? Uh, Hickok forty-five style gong. That would be cool. I want one of those. Then honestly, I would love to have a Texas Star. Texas Star. Yeah, that'd be awesome. That would be fun. Eventually, guys. It's y'all growing with us. <laughs> But if he's ready, I'm ready, and y'all are ready, then he's ready, then he'll shoot. You got earplugs in? Because oh, yeah. this is loud. Yeah, I'm good. I don't take mine out for the day we get here to the time we leave. What? That's exactly. <laughs> I said I don't take mine out from the time we get here to the time we leave. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Here's the first shot. <laughs> totally different point of impact from the Josh's group. That is very close to point of aim. 
It's my eyes, I swear. I am legally blind. About an inch above that, maybe two. And put one in the middle, you beat shot. me all to hell. What is it? I said, put one in the middle, you beat me all to hell. <laughs> There's it looks that like that one hit where Josh's was hitting, kind of high. I shot a vertical string. So maybe the buffer in the cavity helped something, or hurt something, I mean? Yeah, it might have. I don't know, but it definitely needs to come over to the left. Just a little bit. All right. All right, let's shut the camera off and uh, adjust this. I'm taller than you! <laughs> Where'd the wrench go? It's in the box. Okay. So, uh, well, I've got about a nine inch vertical group there by, let's call it an uh, inch and a half, nine by inch and a half. That's not very good. I was really hopeful with my first two. That one up there, I would definitely call that a flyer, but we have sided it in to about right here, kind of split the difference brought it more to the left but i think we can hit that plate with these we'll give it a shot though <laughs> all righty he's sitting down here he's going to get the gun adjusted for 110 yards the white plate is let me pan over to it way out there about center screen if i can get this thing stable i'll zoom out a little bit so the quality's better i'm ready when you are all right, I'll get this thing raised up here, and we'll see what happens. I got to toss my earplugs in, too. These are loud. <laughs> These are loud. Still running the IC. Not sure really which is the better way to go. Cylinder bore or IC, but we're running IC. Man, that thing's like staring at the sun. What is it? Oh, the green dot on this when we turn it up. Did you say it looks like the sun? Yeah, it's like staring at the sun. Dude, that's exactly what I said in the actual review video. This is the O site, by the way. Yeah, it's like hurting my eyeballs when it's up real high. <laughs> that's literally word for word what I said whenever I was showing the dot off in my house. Yeah. I said, this looks like the sun. It does. Like it's, I'm seeing green dots from having it up all the way. Just to be honest with you, it's like a laser pointer. <laughs> yeah. I'd say after dark, it probably blinds you. That's where you couldn't see nothing. Just to be honest with you. Fumble fingers. <sighs> Let me get it for you. No, I got it. Okay. Now I'm ready when you are. Alrighty. Are you spotting? Yeah. Here goes my first one. I'm hold I don't know where these are gonna go out there, so I'm just holding dead center. Are you ready? Yep. Uh high right. High right? Yeah. Pretty far right, too. A right, whole load left. Ready? Yeah. Right where I was aiming. Yep, that one was a flyer, that first shot. Yep. So let's go back to dead center again. Same spot. Ah, well, I couldn't hit it. Yep, they're a little bit inconsistent on paper, too. I bet you he can, though. Oh, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I don't expect to hit it either, but you never know. See, I thought these were going to be super accurate. The pellet slugs generally are. And these are full bore. But, once again, they were kind of inconsistent on paper. I think both of us had a flyer. We did, yeah. But, I suppose all I can do is try, right? Yep. You ready? Yeah. Pretty high, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, I caught a glimpse of it. I was bouncing back and forth between the camera and real life. <laughs> right behind it. Yep. Like you went between the bar and the plate. Exactly where I was aiming. Oh, well, that's all three. Two inconsistent for 100 yards. That's okay. The slug, again, not the most accurate thing in the world. Although... They're pretty heavy. They carry a lot of energy. Just wish they were a little bit more accurate. Now, how do we close this video out?